Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. You know, a question that I get asked a lot in the comment section is, how come you don't have more subscribers, David? How come you don't have more subscribers? I think you should have a million subscribers. Let me tell you why, all right? Let me tell you why I don't have more subscribers. Because I do magic reviews. <laughs> I do magic reviews. That is not the most sought after subject on YouTube. I have a list. I have a list, okay? I have a, I have a list to prove it. And it's from Google, so it's true, okay? According to YouTube creators, most popular YouTube subjects, okay? Most, these, these, are the, these are the video subjects people want to see on the YouTube. You want to know what they are? All right. Entertainment. I mean, yeah, my videos are entertaining, but it, they're not about movies and TV, right? That's what they mean, entertainment. Food. That's number two. Food. I don't talk about food. Gaming is number three. Now, if you know, there are a couple of videos on this channel about games. There are, but they're board games. And when they say gaming, they mean video games. The only video game I play right now is Animal Crossing on my son's Switch. I got Animal Crossing for my son and uh, he kind of gave up on it, but I found it to be very enjoyable. And I have a really wonderful island. You're more than welcome to come over to my island and harvest some red roses. Uh, beauty and fashion, number four, beauty and fashion. Uh, yeah, there, there ain't nothing going on here. I mean, I wear a t-shirt like every single day. Music, music, that'd be popular music, right? I don't talk about music. Sports, I know absolutely nothing about sports except for the fact that my son is in soccer and I go to his soccer games. Uh, science and technology, nope. Travel, nope. You know, Google even commissioned a survey back in 2016 where they talked about like who even uses YouTube, like, w w you know, how, how that's been using. Okay, look at this. Six out of 10 people prefer live platform on YouTube over television. Six out of 10. And in an average month, eight out of 10, that's a lot of people, eight out of 10, people 18 to 49, hmm, 18 to 49, watch YouTube. Is that you? Is that you? It's not me. <laughs> I'm older than 49. And on mobile, okay, so on your cell phone, on your cell phone, YouTube reaches 18 to 49 year olds more than any other broadcast or television. So welcome, 18 to 49 year olds. I think that's a good target, 18 to 49 year olds. I think a lot of my viewers probably fall into the 18 to 49 year olds. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? Shout out to all my 52 year olds. Woo woo. Today we got another magic review for you. That's right, it's the weekend and we're still going. Still going. How many days is this in a row? I have no idea. So I'm gonna go back and count. How many days is this in a row that I have done magic reviews? Today we're looking at Psy Cube from Herman the Bat and Verne Magic. What is Psy Cube? Psy Cube is a parlor or stage effect where you have a paper cube, okay? Now it could be a, a, a die, it could be a piggy bank, it could be a Rubik's cube, okay? But it's paper. And throughout the course of the trick, you take suggestions from the audience, okay? Random ones, you know, they're totally, totally free. And then you pop the paper cube open and on the inside is a written prediction where the numbers or words match what the audience suggested. Let's talk about it. All right, Psy Cube is a written prediction on the inside of an origami style paper cube. And uh, you can do it, like I said, in parlor, you could do it in a stage setting, it's fun. Uh, as far as what you get, let's say you pay your $39 to your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer, what will you get? Uh, you're gonna get six die, okay, six paper die, and six piggy banks. So six papers, they're flat sheets that you will need to fold origami style into die or into piggy banks. And you'll get a thicker box 
like a little bit of a thicker, uh, more sturdier chip paper box that you can stick your paper box into so that it keeps its shape. And you'll get the video, right? You'll get access to the video. The video is roughly 34 minutes long. And surprise, surprise, you will get a Swami gimmick. That's right. You will get a Swami gimmick. Uh, this comes with the Vernet Invisible Writer, which I think is a great deal. I mean, think about this. You can go buy the Vernet Invisible Writer for about $18. So almost 20 bucks just for the writer itself. And if you do buy it separately, you can get this in pencil or grease. And these are also available from your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. But you'll get this Swami gimmick inside SciCube, price included. So if you are looking for a Swami gimmick and you want something maybe a little bit different, I would highly recommend you go check out the Invisible Writer from Vernet. Is it what I thought? Well, yeah. I mean, it is what I thought. There are other tricks like this out on the market, not cubes, right? Not paper cubes, but maybe it's a you know written prediction inside of an envelope or, or something. And you're calling out for suggestions and then it magically appears inside when the paper's unfolded. It's the same premise as that. Is it well made? Uh, everything's gonna come inside of a plastic uh, bigger envelope. And like I said, it's all full sheet, uh, nice. It's like cardstock, right? It's a cardstocky type paper and it's all beautifully printed. Uh, yeah, it's well made. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, you'll have your teacher, he's behind a table, and he's in front of the Vernet curtain, and it'll go back and forth between live performances, which I think is kind of, uh, a, just a, it's a live performance in a stage setting. I think there's only four people in the audience, but they film it well. And then you'll have your explanations back in the studio. As far as what they're gonna teach you, uh, they'll show you the, the secret really quick, like a really quick uh, intro at the beginning, and then they'll go into the history of the effect. And then they're gonna teach you how to fold the larger cube that holds the smaller cubes because everything comes flat, right? Everything comes unfolded. Then you'll have your first trick, which is done with the die. And this is a live performance. Uh, two spectators randomly call out a single number between one and six that they envision the die to be. And then when you open the die, uh, that two digit number is written on the inside. Then he's gonna teach you how to do the trick. Obviously, there's an explanation. And then within that explanation, there's a longer, more over the shoulder shot of how to make your folds and how to fold this cube. And it is well folded, let me just say. Um, you could toss the cube from hand to hand. It's not gonna come unfolded. Uh, it's, it's really locked together very well. And then they'll also show you how to do the flash unfold. Uh, you don't unfold this slowly. It unfolds very quickly. Then they're gonna go into the second trick, also with a live. It's done with a piggy bank where you have some coins inside the piggy bank and your spectator guesses how much money is inside. And then when you open it up, the spectator is invited to count how much money was inside the piggy bank actually. And then the difference between what they guessed and what was inside was written on the inside of the bank. At the end, you're gonna get a lot of extra bonus ideas that he'll go over, like maybe a blank die that can be tossed around the audience. He has an idea where you have a safe and some chocolate on the inside and the spectators guess the combination. Uh, he has an idea with a Rubik's Cube. He has an idea with voting and a ballot box. There's lots of ground covered in this 34 minutes. Okay, so how are the angles? Uh, the angles are very good. Uh, about the same angles that you would think of with a cube shell. You can show all five sides except for one. Can it be inspected? Uh, afterwards, yes. I mean, if you wanted to give these out as souvenirs, uh, they could take it home. They would never see how it was done. How much practice does it require? Uh, there's no practice. Uh, it's self-working. You write down your prediction, right, on the inside ahead of time. You do the fold. It flash unfolds, and that's it. That allows you to relax and focus entirely on your presentation and your rapport with the audience. And I think that is really uh, what makes a good trick is where a lot of the hard stuff is done in advance, where all you need to do is just walk out and perform. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, of course, you'll have to write your predictions down in advance and you'll have to come up with the trick that you wanna present. The great thing about this though, the great thing about the setup is uh, the prediction can be in, in whatever language you want, right? It can be in whatever language you want. And if you were doing something with numbers, or doing something with money, it could also be in any numeric or any currency. This is, this is all your writing. So language is not a barrier in this trick. It is really multinational. All right, so positives, what are the positives? I think it's a fun prop. 
I think it's a, a versatile prop. You can certainly use this uh, multiple times. Uh, I, go and read the ad copy. Like seriously, go read the ad copy. And uh, it's very detailed. You're gonna see a lot of what's covered in this. Um, negatives wise, I think the negatives for me were, uh, I thought the Rubik's Cube trick idea was very good, but um, they didn't include a Rubik's Cube. So I, I would have to make a Rubik's Cube paper shell. The other negative, I guess, is this is a consumable trick, right? It's consumable. You're, you're gonna write down the prediction every single time. So that means you can't reuse these. So you might as well give them out as souvenirs because you can't reuse them. It's 40 bucks. Um, I guess the only way you could reuse this is if you used a pencil swami, right? Pencil swami, and then erased your prediction. But I think over time, you know, you start to see those lines. And usually, at least for me, if you're gonna do something on stage or parlor, it's kind of a little bit more of a darkened setting. You really kind of wanna make your prediction nice and dark so people can read it. You don't want it to look like it was written and then erased and then written and then erased and it's kind of faded, right? Um, the Swami already kind of writes a little light anyway, because you know, whenever you write on, with a Swami, you're not really writing with your, you know, like this, you're kind of writing in a very fluid way and it's not, you know, a clipboard or anything hard. You're just pushing on paper and there's nothing behind it. So the idea that your pencil mark is going to be very dark, it's probably not going to be that dark. So I don't know if I like the idea of using this over and over again. So at $39, this is a consumable product. To do the trick again, you would have to buy the package again. So is it worth your money? Uh, just think about the fact that you're getting 12 tricks for 40 bucks, right? If it's a consumable and you really were going to give these out, you get 12 tricks for $40, but you also get an $18 Swami gimmick, so consider that. Who would like this? Um, parlor magicians, stage magicians. I even think this would work great for kids magic, uh, you know, like a kid show. Because if you did do it as a, as, a, as a die, let's say, you wouldn't have to have two kids call it a number, you could just have one kid. I mean, if, if that makes more sense to them, you know, you say pick a number between one and six, and they say five, and when you unfold it, there's a five there. They get that, right? They get that. Or if you were to do the piggy bank version, uh, you just do it with currency or amounts of money that they can understand, right? So if you say how many quarters are inside this piggy bank and they shout out three, but there's really two, you could just say there's two, but they will guess three or something like that. Well, that's everything I can say about Psy Cube from Vernay Magic. I want to thank Vernay for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. But wait, are you not getting enough magic orthodoxy in your life? Not getting enough of your very favorite magic reviews? Good news, you can join this channel. That's right, you can join Magic Orthodoxy for only $1.99 a month. $1.99 gives you access to eight brand new videos every single month. Eight, eight new videos that are unseen by the rest of the world, you will have exclusive access to them. Plus, if you join right now for a buck 99, you'll get access to over a hundred videos that are already in the membership section. That's right, a hundred videos. What kind of content? Even more magic videos, top 10 lists, best of the year, head to head magic tricks, and my exclusive thoughts on performance and theory. Two extra videos every single week, $1.99. Just scroll down to where it says Magic Orthodoxy. There's a button next to it that says Join. Click the Join button and it'll walk you through a series of menus that'll hook you up and get you access today.